the squeezing of the grave happens physically or spiritually in terms of the soul because if an individual dies and drowns in the sea or god forbid they are burnt the body is burnt what happens does the grave squeeze them no it is the squeezing of the soul not necessarily of the body it's the squeezing of the nafs this happens how this happens due to a number of reasons rasulullah muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam mentions to us why the squeezing of the grave happens please pay attention to this so that we can avoid it so that you and i can prepare ourselves so this dhammatul qabr doesn't necessarily apply to us it applies to many people rasulullah says dhammat al dhammatu fil qabr kafaratun lil mu'min min madhi'atin ni'ma that the squeezing of the grave is a source of what is the cause of wasting the favors and the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a form of purification for the believer here in the united states of america on an annual basis 40 percent of the food that is produced annually is thrown away that equates to 165 what billion dollars of food that is thrown away annually if 15 percent of this is not thrown away and saved that can feed 25 million people can you imagine how much waste we give away can you imagine what we can do to reduce wastefulness and israf there are a number of things that we can do number one we do not buy for instance food that we do not necessarily eat number two we do not cook food that we know that we cannot complete these measures have to be taken and indeed shopping wisely making sure that the leftovers are eaten and all this are sources by which we can ensure that the ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has presented us and has given us and indeed some others around the world many would not necessarily have is preserved what else causes the squeezing of the grave and please pay attention to this because not many people know bowl urine what does that mean not purifying oneself after going to the restroom or to the bathroom this is in hadith that islamic jurisprudence says that water must be used to purify oneself after passing urine twice if the water is not running in other words you have a cup or a basket or whatever a container you need to use water twice if you do not use do so and like for instance others use tissues in the restroom or whatever and you make a habit this is a source for what for the squeezing of the grave and this is found in hadith that's number one number two the other cause is what mistreating one's family especially when it comes to husband and wife relationship you see too many times when it comes to marital relationships we don't know we cannot distinguish between what is the duty and responsibility and what is ethically right please pay attention to this many men think that their wives have to cook with them have to clean the house have to breastfeed their children otherwise they're not performing their duties or responsibilities whereas nothing in the religion of islam compels the wives to do so and if the husbands demand this from the wives then the wives can demand payment tell me how many wives out there go forward and say i've cooked for you this costs 50 dollars nobody right because if she does god knows what will happen to her whereas in reality the religion of islam says don't look at marriage as a give and take i give this for you you do this for me because it works the other way around if the husband then charges the wife for the actions that she does the wife can do the same thing or if the wife does it the husband could do the same thing and says what you're not allowed to leave the house baba i want to go and visit my family no you're not allowed 
if the relationship is like this, is bound to break down. Because in Sharia law, we are told, according to many of the fuqaha, the wife has to seek the permission of her husband before leaving the house. Not every time. If she knows the husband is happy by going out, no problem. She doesn't have to seek the permission every time. I'm going out. Yes, okay, go out. No, but this type of duties and responsibilities, if it's give and take, then this is the end of the marriage. It has to be founded on love, on mutual respect, on trying to reconcile on diffusing situations likewise when the wife does what becomes patient with the husband if they've come back tired or angry or they've seen things during their working day and they express love and they display their emotion towards the husband out of compassion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards them greatly Rasulullah says that if a lady if a wife does this Allah grants her the reward given to Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun. Imagine, so much reward exists for those who appreciate the importance of keeping what? A marital relationship based on love and respect and understanding. Not treating each other as adversaries or enemies. Not trying to get one over the other. Because this would cause what? This would cause dhaghtatul. What? Dhaghtatul Qabr. And the, the other final cause of Dhaghtatul Qabr is Namima. Namima is what? Is slandering. Speaking ill of others and spreading rumors. Rasulullah says, Tuba man shagalahu ayubuhu an ayub al nas. May the mercy of God and paradise be reserved for those who are busy with their shortcomings. And that distracts them from looking at the shortcomings of others. What's the business of mine when I look at what people do and indeed dissect their lives? That's not my business. 